Hey guys, Brian Holder here, Brian Holder Graphic Design, coming at you with another WYSIWYG Web Builder 9 tutorial. And today we're going to talk about creating rollover images uh, without using the rollover image feature. Uh, but first I want to introduce you to my new Facebook page. I've only got three likes so far, so if you like me on uh, on YouTube, do me a favor, come on over to Facebook.com slash BJHolderWeb and like me on Facebook. Alrighty, so basically, uh, this is my new WYSIWYG Web Builder site. Uh, it was built with WYSIWYG Web Builder 8. Uh, it is completely compatible in WYSIWYG Web Builder 9, so whenever I do a, uh, a refresh or an update, it'll be a WYSIWYG Web Builder 9 uh, website. But uh, I had a, uh, a viewer ask me about my social icons and how I make them roll over. And not only are they rolling over, but they roll over with a slow transition. You can see that it's not an instant, uh, instant thing like this button. And so I'm going to show you how to do that real quick. In fact, my logo actually does the same thing. And we do this using images. So if I go over to my master frame page, uh, that's where this layer is that I have all my uh, buttons in. And so basically these are bitmap images of each individual um, uh, social icon. This is a PNG image. So I don't have those. I don't know where I got them from, so I can't exactly package those up and give them away because I don't really own the rights to them. So, uh, but it's real easy. If you just Google social media icon package or social media icon set, you're going to get hundreds of websites, probably thousands, uh, that have links to where you can download uh, different styles and different themed uh, social media icons. Okay, so these are the ones that I'm using. And basically what I did was with the initial image, let's look at the Twitter one here, Twitter icon. I set my initial opacity down to 30. Okay. Uh, not, oh, and the other thing, I'm using WYSIWYG Web Builder 9. I know it looks like 8. Uh, I, I did not like the ribbon theme, so I switched back to the, this type of uh, layout for, for the head section here. Um, but so if, if yours looks a little bit different, that's why. But I am in, in WYSIWYG Web Builder 9. Okay. So at any rate, I set the opacity down to 30. And the next thing you're going to do is create an event. So uh, to trigger something when we hover our mouse over that. So basically what I did was I created a mouse over event. So what happens when somebody mouses over that image on mouse over, we're going to animate, and then we selected which uh, element on the page we're going to animate. So in this case I named it uh, social icon dash Twitter using the ID right here. I just renamed it so it was easier for me to find. And what happens when we animate over that, we bring the opacity back up to 100. So we're seeing the full picture. Okay. And what I have is that takes a duration a value of 100, and that's real quick. It's like one-tenth of a second, basically. And I have it be quick because I know that when somebody mouses their uh, mouse over this, that's where their attention is. So I want it to react and show them that something happened quickly. And then on the opposite here, when we mouse out or we remove the mouse, from that picture. We're going to have the same event. We're going to animate. We're going to animate that same photo, that same uh, image. We're going to set the ice. What I do is I set the opacity down to 50. Um, and I don't know why, if this is like a bug or if it's just something in my computer. Um, it seems to be the same on no matter what computer I use. So I think it's something with the program. But uh, you always want to try, I always try to keep a difference of 20 between what I start out with and what I set it back to. So if you remember, we actually started out with 30. And now we're setting it to 50. So I don't know why, but if I were to set this to 30, the image fades out more than it should. Uh, it doesn't look right. So I set it to 50. So if you were to start out at 50, then you would want to set this at 70 and so on and so forth. Depends on how much of a fade you have. I have a pretty, pretty deep fade here. So um, I go all the way down to 30 when I first start out. Um, and then for the duration, I have that take 500 because at this point, somebody is removing their mouse, so their attention is no longer in this area. So what I do is I allow that transition to take a little bit longer because it tends to impress people. Hence the reason, uh, you know, you guys want to know how I did this. You thought it was impressive. And that's what uh, that's what my customers say. And that's it. It really is that simple. I did the exact same thing with my logo up here. Mouse over uh, animate. I just did the exact opposite. When you mouse over it, it goes to 60, and when you take your mouse off, it comes back to full view. 
and you can do that with basically any image. Um, so uh, let's say I have this download button here. Okay, what I can do is let me. Uh, I was playing around with this earlier, so let me just take this out of here. What I can do is on mouse over, mouse over. You want to do animate. And the name of this is index image two. We're going to animate index image two, and we're going to set the opacity down to fifty. And we're going to let that go real fast to one hundred. And then what we need to do, add another event. When we mouse out, which is remove the mouse from the button. Again, we're going to animate the same image, index image 2. And we're going to bring it back to full view, back to 100% opacity. And again, we can leave this uh, at 500, so that way it goes a little bit quicker. So real quick, let's just take a look at this now. I'm going to come down to where our button is. Mouse over. Mouse out. Mouse over. Oop, and I clicked it. You see, I have that with basically all of all of my rollover images that have uh, transparency through them. I do that with my my back to top button, all of these buttons, my logo, um, this download button. I think my other download buttons I maybe don't do this with just to keep this the, the uh, speed of the page a little bit quicker. This will slow it down a tiny bit. Um, but it's not too bad. Alrighty, so hopefully, uh, hopefully you found that helpful. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And again, if you find the time to swing over to Facebook, go to facebook.com slash bjholderweb and like my page. I do updates. I'll be publishing my posting new videos up there so you can uh, be the first one to watch my new video. If you check your Facebook regularly. Alrighty, I appreciate it. And I'll catch you guys on the next episode. Thanks.